Fox News Alert, former FBI Director James Comey now challenging a subpoena from Republicans in the House. He accuses them of partisan harassment for demanding a closed-door testimony in the FBI actions leading up to the election 2016. The House Judiciary Committee Chair is Bob Goodlatte, the Republican from Virginia. Sir, how are you? And welcome back here on America's Newsroom. So you got your work cut out for you. Uh, James Comey says he's worried about leaks. Should he be worried? Uh, well, first of all, uh, we don't condone leaks. Uh, Trey Gowdy and I are uh, concerned about that. And since uh, Jim Comey claims he wants transparency, we've already indicated that uh, we will release the transcript of this uh, uh, under oath uh, private interview the next day. Uh, after it takes place. We're almost done with this investigation. He's one of the last witnesses. Sixteen other people have testified under oath in the same setting that we're asking him to do it. Uh, and his claim that he needs to do it in public uh, is, in my opinion, a farce. Uh, quite frankly, uh, five minutes is not enough time for an experienced former prosecutor like Trey Gowdy or John Ratcliffe to follow all of the threads that need to be followed, the hundreds of questions that need to be asked. And that needs to be done in a private setting. Okay. But we're if happy for are, the transparency. If there are hundreds of questions, give me one that's on your mind. What do you need to know, sir? Well, we need to know, uh, just as one example, what Jim Comey was doing during the time between when he wrote uh, a statement uh, that exonerated Hillary Clinton and when he actually issued it in revised form a number of weeks later. We need to know what Jim Comey was doing uh, with regard to the initiation of the so-called Trump-Russia collusion investigation. And we need to know why he persisted uh, in uh, pursuing uh, surveillance of Carter Page, United States citizen, for a full year uh, when uh, there's no evidence that Carter Page did anything uh, that would suggest that so you, you don't uh, he think was you colluding can, with the Russians. You don't think you can get those answers in an open, open hearing? No, because you get an answer and then you have, you have three or four follow-up questions. Uh, the interviews generally have ranged four, five, six, seven, eight hours. We rotate one hour for uh, Republican counsel and then one hour for the Democrats to ask their questions. Uh, and when we're done with this investigation, which is obviously going to be soon, we'll release all of these transcripts uh, so the American people can see uh, what was going on in 2016 and leading into 2017. Trey, Jim Gowdy, Comey, Trey Gowdy suggested you could videotape it. Is that some sort of compromise yeah, that could be? We're open to the idea of videotaping it. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, though, he is trying to run the clock on us, and that's why we think he's filed this motion to quash. Uh, they also, Fusion GPS also tried that. They were uh, knocked down, and uh, instead he came in, Glenn Simpson came in and, and took the fifth. Uh, what Jim Comey's intentions are, I don't know, other than that uh, it's pretty clear he doesn't want to come in and answer the detailed questions that we so, have. I, I'm looking at the calendar. I know you are as well. You're almost out of time, right? I mean, first week of January, the, the gavel we, we, switches. We have another month. Now, of course, when that happens, uh, we already have indications from Lindsey Graham, who's expected to be the uh, new chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and Ron Johnson, who is the chairman of the Senate Oversight Committee, uh, that they intend to pursue this. And we also know that the inspector general, who's already filed a 400-page report, so if you're looking for questions for Mr. Comey, you need to look no further than a 400-page uh, report from the inspector general uh, regarding uh, matters. And uh, that, coupled with the documents we've examined and the witnesses we've talked to, have given us a, a plethora of questions that he needs to come in and answer so we can complete okay. this investigation. Let, let me slide in a few more things here in the minute I have last. Co a Comey statement from his attorneys reads like this. Mr. Comey should not be coerced into participating in an improper partisan effort to undermine the legitimacy of an institution that he served for the better part of four years. There is no legitimate reason why Mr. Comey cannot provide sworn live public testimony about the matters under investigation. You, you took the Twitter last night on that. Here's what you said. The truth is best served with transparency. What is Director Comey trying to hide from the American and people with this baseless motion to quash. So you got this battle with James Comey. What happens with Rod Rosenstein? Will you get a satisfactory answer from him over the next month about the reports that he was willing to wear a wire and find out whether yes, that was true or I, not? Yeah, I, I think it's very important that uh, Mr. Rosenstein 
uh, answer questions uh, with regard to that. I know he's put out a statement uh, uh, denying it, and uh, we have, uh, you know, a New York Times report with regard to it. But I think the public deserves to have. Uh, uh, more information about that. And there are a few other things that Mr. Rosenstein could testify well, about. Well, you got a lot moving well. on both fronts, though. How much can you get done, sir? Uh, we're close to the end. Uh, these are the last witnesses that uh, we need to do. We've examined, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of pages of documents, searched through them, and uh, have thousands of documents that are relevant to our investigation. And all of these witnesses, uh, we're ready to turn that over uh, to uh, the Senate. And uh, we're anxious to see what additional work the inspector general does. Mr. Gowdy and I have, of course, also called for the appointment of a second special counsel, especially when you have Glenn Simpson at Fusion GPS coming in and uh, taking the and Fifth on, Amendment on and others, and goes. others um, who are reluctant to testify. Yeah, you sound confident that you'll get your answers. We'll see if that's the case. Sir, thank you for coming back here. Bob Goodlot from Virginia. Thank you, sir.